welcome guys to the broadcast for those who are coming through for the first time you are more than welcome for those who keep coming keep doing what you're doing i love it guys please don't forget to like and subscribe to this content you can put on your notification bell so that you are notified each time we post a new video now let's get into this video guys i love the south african hypocrisy it is huge it is big you know let me tell you something at the moment the biggest thing in media is Mac G, hands down. Everybody knows that. But people, you know, people are acting like he doesn't exist, especially the ones in the same space as him. Jealousy is a real thing, guys. Jealousy can come even from your friends, those who are closest to you. And I know some of you are thinking, ah, whatever, guy, you've been saying this, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you know, you gotta watch out for your friends when you are at your pinnacle, you know? Biggest lesson you must learn. Check who's around you, you know. You know, there's people like Dineo, Ranaka, Tebeho, Tobejana. They come on Mekji's platform. I've seen this over and over again. It's happening. They come on Mekji's platform. And you can see they've got disregard for this platform, man. Because Mekji is easy, right? I mean, everybody is taking, is taking advantage of him. I mean, Dineo, Ranaka is making her own moves on the back spine of what Mekji is doing. Tebeho, Tobejana, she was there. She's one of the people, but she knows nothing about podcasts. She, does, she knows nothing about Mac G's platform. She was asked questions that she couldn't answer on one of these activations that they do. There's even an instance in an interview where they made uh, Debeho Tobejana like ghost lady. Sol and Mac G are trying to track uh, Gogo Maweni, trying to get some information out of her about MK calls. Debeho Tobejana just disrupts and disturbs the thing. And they were about to get some information. She just says, no, it's none of your business. I mean... These guys have got no clue. I mean, what is that? You know? But anyways, I just want to talk about Megji's political views. Saul knew what was coming when he heard Megji speak the way he does. And he tried to save him by saying, no, I'm trying to explain what Megji is saying. But Megji said, no, I am not saying nothing. I am saying that I think DA could do a better job. And I knew it was coming. Saul knew it was coming. Now the question is, did Megji know it was coming? Because Megji doesn't come across to me as dumb. You know, let me tell you one thing. Julius Malema was there on the podcast, but he shares different views from Megji. I don't even think Julius Malema likes people who think like Megji, but he went there because everybody wants a piece of Megji. And Megji is not stupid. And after that, you know, Julius Malema goes there and says, stop depoliticizing the youth. Who do you think you are, Julius Malema? You go on Megji's platform and you want to tell him what to do. That's what they all come there and they want to correct Megji. And Megji, I love him for this. He allows them to say whatever on his platform. But the following day, he will come back and makes his point and take his stance. He doesn't want to be affiliated with Julius Malema. He doesn't. And people are thinking that he's stupid. They'll come there and, and rub shoulders with him and push their own narrative. That's what Nota did. That's what uh, Dineo Ranaka did. That's what Teba Khotobejana does. And all these people... When you pick, everybody wants a piece of you. Even Julius Malema, who's been invited there many times, never came. But when he came, he came because it's, he wants numbers. But he's got no, he doesn't have a heart for people like Mac G. And Mac G knows that. He's rebelling. That's why he's saying those things, because he wants to cleanse himself. And let not DA think that Mac G is on, on their side. Because Mac G knows what he's doing. He knows nobody's on his side. He's pushing his own narrative. And he understands that he's a platform and he's going to use to push his own narrative. Why do we have a problem with Mac G pushing his own narrative on his own platform? Isn't that what everybody else is doing? Stop the hypocrisy. There's this tendency of everybody. There's this tendency of people who are in politics. A tendency of thinking that they know better than everybody else. And everybody is stupid because they can speak and, and finish last. Doesn't matter, man, how 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 strong and how stubborn you, you, you argue your point. People have got their own point of views and their own feelings. People are not stupid. And everybody who's in politics, they've got a tendency of thinking that they can undermine other people's opinions. Stop that nonsense. I am not lesser of a black person than you because you want to vote for black people. And the fact that I'm coming after the black people who are messing up the country doesn't mean I'm a sellout. You're a sellout because you're protecting the guilty. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.